Meantime, a coalition of civil society organizations, the Situation Room on the War Against Banditry, has accused the Zamfara state governor, Dawood Lawal, of harboring notorious bandits, including Toji Bello, in the government house. The convener of the group, Morgan Dobisi, alleged at the press conference that the notorious bandit leader sought refuge in the government house after the military's offensive pushed him out of his hiding place. These allegations come amid growing concerns over the governor's relationship with the bandits terrorizing the region. Ungogu further criticized Governor Lawal's administration for allocating over 1.3 billion naira to bandits and media propagandists, stating that this finding has worsened the security or insecurity plaguing Zamfara State and its surrounding areas. We all the National Assembly to initiate a thorough investigation into the alleged allegation of 1.3 billion naira to bandits and media propagandists by the Zamfara state government. Such fund should be used to provide education, health care, and security for the people, not to fuel the criminal enterprise that have destabilized the region. Now, a group under the Campaign for Transformative Governance, CFTG, has organized a town hall meeting with key stakeholders to discuss the path forward on governance reforms. In his opening remarks, Comrade Engineer Dauda Adamu, chairman of the Adamoa chapter of the Trade Union Congress, emphasized the importance of holding those responsible for the nation's predicament accountable. He noted the assembly of like-minded individuals aimed to uphold high standards and not compromise the mission to reform governance. Echoing at this sentiment, the newly inaugurated chairperson of the women's wing, Lydia Beatrice, called for change. She highlighted the CFTG platform's potential to drive impactful reforms. As you can see, uh, I'm the trade union chairman of Adamo State, that's from the TUC. And if you look at this group, this particular coalition involved both the TUC, the F1, Federation of Informal Workers. So it's a, it's a combination of all form of unions and group. So uh, all we're doing now is for us to look at uh, the real problem of Adamo citizens and then how we are going to get that solution. So in the case of, uh, of, of buying that group, uh, I, I don't think it's going to be possible because from the inception, we came in as a, as a consigned citizens, as a consigned uh, uh, members of Adamo State. So we don't think that is going to be possible. But this is our first inaugural meeting. And then from, uh, from here, we are going to reschedule our meeting time to time. Who to campaign for that? Because if we continue keeping quiet, nothing will change. So our campaign now will move the government to change their narrative towards women. So we are, and we, we are planning to engage the, uh, the region leaders and the community leaders so that they will help us with this campaign from the grassroots. And I forgot, maternal uh, uh, girl child education. Most of the ladies, the girls in the rural area, they are not educated. Why? Because their parents were not educated. Their parents were not aware. So we need to start from the grassroots with the religion leaders and the district heads of the villages. I'm here for the campaign for transmitting governance in Adamawa states. Here, we, the, the youth, the adults, male and female, all participated and ensured that their voices are being heard so that um, the government will take action. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.